Welcome to News Analysis. News Analysis, a weekly magazine on current affairs. To begin with the main points in a nutshell. FCC plan to widen internet access in US step up battle. European Union close to Greece bail out deal, officials say. Prime Minister Maliki leads poll count in key Baghdad constituency. Ivory and bluefin tuna top agenda at UN Wildlife Summit. Obama NASA plans catastrophic, say moon astronauts. Pakistan arrests halt secret UN contacts with Taliban. Now the news in detail. FCC plan to widen internet access in US steps up battle. The Federal Communication Commission is proposing an ambitious 10-year plan that will reincarnate the nation's media and technology priorities by establishing high-speed internet as the country's dominant communication network. The plan, which will be submitted to Congress on Tuesday, is likely to generate debate in Washington and lobbying battle among the telecommunication giants, which over time may face new competition for customers. Already, the broadcast television industry is resisting a proposal to give back spectrum the government wants to use for future mobile services. The blueprint reflects the government's view that the broadband internet is becoming the common medium of the United States, gradually displacing the telephone and the broadcast television industries. It also signals a shift at the FCC, which under the administration of President George W. Bush, gained more attention for policing indecency on television airwaves than for promoting internet access. According to FCC officials briefed on the plan, the Commission's recommendations will include a subsidiary for Internet provisions to wire rural parts of the country, now without access, a conversational auction of some of the broadcast spectrum to free up space for wireless devices, and the development of a new universal set-top box that connects to the Internet and cable services. European Union close to Greece bailout deal, officials say. The European Union is poised to reach agreement on a potential multi-billion euro bailout for Greece after weeks of crisis, senior officials have told the BBC. They say the rescue package would be available in Greece as for assistance to finance its huge deficit. Eurozone ministers are expected to finalize a proposal setting a range of options as early as Monday. Greece has not requested help so far. The European Union says no deal has been agreed, but technical work is continuing. Greece is struggling to deal with a 300 billion euro, that means a dollar's 419 billion debt. It needs to raise about 20 billion euros, that means $27 billion on bound market to reinforce the debt maturing in April and May. Its deficit is more than four times higher than the Eurozone rules allow. Austerity measures aimed at reducing it have provoked public anger. The crisis has also undermined the Euro. Prime Minister Maliki leads poll count in key Baghdad constituency. Partial results for Iraq's elections show Prime Minister Nouri Maliki's coalition ahead in the crucial area of Baghdad, election officials say. Results from across the country suggest a tight contest may be developing between Mr. Maliki and his main rival, former Prime Minister Iyad Alavi. Baghdad has 70 seats in the 325-member parliament, making results the key. There have been complaints about the slow pace of the count for the seven March polls and some claims of fraud. Final results for all 18 provinces are not expected for a fortnight, after which there is expected to be a long process of coalition building. Ivory and bluefin tuna a top agenda at UN Wildlife Summit. 
Sales of ivory and possible ban on trading bluefin tuna top the agenda for the two-week CITES meeting that opens this weekend in Doha, Qatar. CITES, the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, will set a precedent if it votes to ban trading a lucrative fish such as bluefin tuna. The US and European Union back the proposal, but Japan is set all against it. Conversation groups, I'm sorry, conservation groups are also hoping for increased protection on sharks, coral, polar bears, lizards and amphibians. Obama NASA plans catastrophic, says moon astronauts. Former NASA astronauts who went to the moon have told the BBC of their dismay at President Barack Obama's decision to push back further moon missions. Jim Lowell, commander of the ill-fated Apollo 13 mission, said Obama's decision would have catastrophic consequences for U.S. space exploration. The last man on moon, Eugene German, said it was disappointing. Last month, Mr. Obama cancelled NASA's Constellation Moon Landings Program, approved by ex-president George W. Bush. NASA still aims to send astronauts back to the moon, but it's likely to take decades and some believe that it will never happen. Pakistan arrests halt secret union contracts with Taliban. The UN former envoy to Afghanistan, Kai Aide, has strongly criticized Pakistan's recent arrest of high-ranking Taliban leaders. Mr. Aide told the BBC the arrest had completely stopped a channel of secret communications with the UN. Pakistani officials insist the arrests were not an attempt to spoil talks. Mr. Aide confirmed publicly for the first time that his secret contracts with senior Taliban members had begun a year ago. He said they involved face-to-face -face talks in Dubai and elsewhere. The first contact was probably last spring, then of course you moved into election process where there was lull in activity, and then communication picked up when the election process was over, and it continued to pick up until a certain moment a few weeks ago, he said. Mr. Aides said there were now many channels of communication with the Taliban, including those involving senior representatives of Afghan President Hamid Karzai. Speaking at his home outside the Norwegian capital Oslo, Mr. Aide would not comment on this or other channels. He cautioned that it would take weeks, months or even no longer to establish confidence on both sides to move forward and establish the red lines in any process. A senior Afghan advisor to President Karzai recently told me that their contacts with the Taliban had also accelerated in recent months. He also said the arrest had affected the process. A rocket fire from Gaza kills man in southern Israel. A rocket fired from inside the Gaza Strip has exploded in kibbutz in southern Israel, killing one person. The rocket was fired less than one hour after European Union foreign policy chief Baroness Ashton crossed into the Palestinian territory on an official visit. Castro supporters heckle ladies in white protesters. Hundreds of Cuban government supporters have heckled members of the ladies in white rights group marching in protest through the streets of Havana. The women, wives and mothers of jailed dissidents are staging a week of protest on the anniversary of the Fidel Castro's 2003 Black Spring crackdown. Nigeria recalls Libya ambassador in Gaddafi Row. Nigeria has recalled its ambassador to Libya after leader Muammar Gaddafi suggested Nigeria be divided in two states, one Christian and one Muslim.